Hello, this is Tic Tac, and in today's video, I will show you how to configure the mouse yoke for the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. As you're probably aware, the mouse yoke was something that was available in FSX, but surprisingly, it's not available in the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. However, there is a way around this, so that we can configure our mouse to act like a yoke, so that we can fly in Microsoft Flight Simulator just as we could in Microsoft Flight Simulator X. So, let's get started. What we need to do first is download two programs. One is called Virtual Controller, and the other is called VJoy. You can download them from these websites, and you can see the URLs at the top. Now what we have to do is open up the app you've just installed called Virtual Controller, and then uh, you can, in here you can run the joysticks and then stop. So. First, we go into IO Devices, set up a mouse, and then we enable it and press X. And for virtual, we set up a, a generic joystick and uh, enable it. And this should appear. We need to press Configure Rate, and this opens up VJoy. Now, in option one, we tick everything we want, and then we press Apply and we can close the windows it usually stops responding but don't worry about it and then we need to restart our computer so I'll press restart and then we'll continue this video is sponsored by Incredible Maths Incredible Maths is a great app in which you can learn and practice maths it has a wide range of content for different levels of abilities. You can download it on Google Play and get 30 days of Incredible Maths Premium free with the code. More details down in the description. Now, let's get back to the video. In Microsoft Flight Simulator, we go to Options and then we go to Controls. And then uh, we found a VJoy device after we restarted. And here I've already configured it. But what you have to do is uh, find ailerons axes and then here find joystick L axis X. So you select an input and then find joysticks L axis X and we've got it here. And then press validate. And you need to do the same for the elevator axis. Now we're uh, going to configure how our mouse maps onto the virtual controller. So what we have to do here is go to settings and then controls. And here uh, it opens up a new window for us and we can press bind and then create. And now we can um, with our mouse and we want axis X. And now we want to uh, map the increase of our X axis onto VJoy1 axis X and then it's increase and then we put uh, in a hundred percent and then first use input and then OK and then we can copy this paste it and then press uh, decrease on here and then decrease here and then this is minus a hundred percent and make sure you've got use input here as well and then press OK now, oh, we, it didn't change here, uh, plus 100, and that's OK. And now we can test this out by pressing main, run. And now, as you can see, when we move our mouse to both sides, it will calibrate. And now, if we move left, it move, the line moves left, and then right, it moves right. So that means it works. So we can stop it and configure the Y now. So now what we can do is copy, paste, and then uh, put Y in here and Y in here. And then again the same Y and Y. Uh, and what you can do with these percentages is uh, just configure the sensitivity so you can um, Decrease the percentage if you want it uh, to not be as sensitive or increase it if you want to be uh, the plane to be more uh, aggressive. And then press close and then run. 
and as you can see as I move my mouse in every direction the lines move in each way so now we know we've got our controller uh, configured now we have finished so we can return to the flight simulator and start playing with our new mouse yoke so I hope you enjoyed today's video and it helped if it did Please press the like button and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.